I'm excited. I am grateful and I am honored and privileged to be able to do what I do. But more importantly, I am excited because I have wonderful individuals stop by and hang out with us and tell us what they're doing, where they're doing it, why they're doing it, all that great stuff in life. And today is no different. We are grateful. We are honored. We are privileged. We are blessed to have this young lady join us on today. And I, you know what? I'm going to dive right in because I, I, you know, I just cannot prolong the time. And I'm going to say, <laughs> Carolyn Bryant, yes. welcome to our broadcast network and welcome to the GMAP Broadcast Network. How are you doing today? Great. Thank you for having me. Oh, police! You know what? You're gonna have to have, you know, your 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 responses are gonna have to be a little bit more extensive than that. I tell you, I tell you, you are a one word answer individual. But I tell you, I'm grateful for having you. Thank you so much for being here, and thank just thank you so much for being a part of the uh, GMAP Broadcast Network family. And thank you for allowing us to be a part of your journey. Introduce yourself. Tell us who you are. Tell us where you're from. Who is Carolyn Bryant? Well, I am. My name is Carolyn Bryant, and I am a Christian. I am a veteran, an Army veteran. Um, I'm also married for 21 years, getting ready to be 22 years in November. I have two children. Um, I have three grandchildren. And... Um, I'm an author now. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. So that's, yeah. that's who I am. You know, and, and, and that author statement is really a blessing uh, to me as well as individuals around the world. I am so grateful uh, that you have made the decision uh, to be here with us today and to uh, tell us a little about what you're doing and when you're doing it. I tell you, I, I, I ran into this publication and it, or actually you found me. So I'm going to say you found me because when you put that information out there, it automatically came to me. But uh, first and foremost, I'm going to talk about uh, your recent uh, publication, Love, A Walk With My Sisters. You know, tell us about it. Well, Love, A Walk With My Sister is a, it's a children's book um, that came about uh quickly uh because my grandkids um my granddaughter uh she helped me with my first book that i did um, no shoes so um this one is really just about two sisters walking in the neighborhood having fun and if you ever had siblings when you have a younger sibling that asks questions my grandchildren look at something and say what is that color why you know that color? Do you know what color that is? And, and so they look at you like, you're not going to get it, are you? You're not going to know the answer to this question. So this is what siblings do when they walk the neighborhood. And what it what the book is to show a bond between sisters. But the thing at the end they find out is the younger sister finds out that, hey, my older sister went through the same thing. So they think it's something new and all children do, but all my books at the end has a Bible verse or a scripture at the end of it that shows them the same thing of um, that particular topic in, in the book. So my heart for each one of my books is to have kids be able to have a book that they enjoy reading, but also have the word of God in their hands. So um, it may be just a small scripture, but it gives them, revel you know, revelance to what the book is talking about through the word also. Mm, well, uh, whew, I tell you, um, I am grateful because, uh, number one, we it's, a, it's an honor to be able to publish uh, publications that, that reach our children to give them a better understanding of certain things. You know, I, I was talking to a young lady today and I told her, sometimes we have to start over. Sometimes we have to begin our life as children. You know, I had a stroke. Uh, this young lady had a stroke and she said, what are you doing? I said, I started over. I began to learn things step by step, day by day in order to get back on track. And 
when they told me they was going to put me in a walker at 56 <laughs> years, I said, oh, no, you're not. You know, so I, I am grateful for that. Now, of course, uh, we do understand that this is uh, a follow-up uh, to a publication that you had already previously written, uh, No Shoes. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that publication, if you don't mind? When No Shoes came about, um, like I was saying, my granddaughter, uh, she's seven right now, um, was sitting in the back seat and she's always, he has older, uh, older brother and she's always picking on him. So she was rapping about, no, you know, him going into the places with no shoes on and they was telling him to get out. So I kind of put it on the back side, didn't pay, listen, but didn't listen. And later on, it just brought back to my memory about it. And I said, well, let me write this down. So I wrote it down and it was my first book I ever wrote. Um, and I moved on it. And that's, you know, there's one thing that, um, and that has also has a scripture at the end. Um, this is more of a, about compassion, um, having compassion on someone, not knowing if, um, they have what they need. They just don't have it at that moment. It's taking compassion on them. And so each, each book has an element still, like I said, um, where they can relate it to what's in the Bible. You might read something in the Bible and you read where Jesus had compassion on the 5,000. It didn't say they didn't have any money to go get some food. It didn't say he had compassion on him. And this is the same thing as I was trying to translate into this book. And my thing is, um, I had a lady get a hold of me and she was asking me to donate to a Christian school. And I, I don't have a problem with that for a simple reason. I want my book to be in the hands of children it, um, that they'll have something to read and have the word of God there. Some children never get the, the Bible until they get older. Mm -hmm. Some get it when they're little and they, you know, they don't really understand it. So I wanted it to be able to relate to what they were reading in the story. It's, it's not a long story. It's not a complicated story. It's just a simple story that they can relate to their lives, what's going on in their lives, you know, and like I said, my granddaughter was rapping. She has her moments where she likes to rap off things, mainly if it's teasing her brother, but that's what I enjoy doing it. Um, I have another one now I'm getting ready. I don't have the title of it, but I have what I'm going to write yeah. <laughs> and the illustrations done on it, but it's just been a really exciting journey um, on writing and just, you know, with just being here doing this, this first time I ever did an interview. So you wow. said, I'll be quick work. I'm a talker. Wow. <laughs> well, you know, I, I'm going to respond to that and say, you know, I just made history, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I made history because, of course, uh, Carolyn uh, has uh, admitted, and the record button is on, so you can't take it back, <laughs> uh, that I am her first conversation and interview. But you know what? I'm going to say this, uh, first and foremost, for those that don't know, uh, Carolyn is one of our children's featured authors on the uh, GMAP broadcast network, gmap1.com. You can always, always stop by and, and click on the tab that says uh, children's featured authors. You'll see a copy of not one, not one, but both of her publications listed there. And, of course, you'll see her book trailers aired consistently throughout the day right here on our main television screen, gmap1.com. And I want you to know that, you know, we appreciate all of our viewers and listeners, but we appreciate you uh, for accepting the invitation uh, to be here with us today, first and foremost, and uh, allowing us to be a part of your journey and becoming a part of the GMAP Broadcast Network family. Now, you know, Carolyn, you know that we are role models to someone, whether we like it or not. Uh, someone is always paying attention and watching our every journey, our every step. For an individual like that today that may be, in fact, watching your journey, and they're, they're saying to themselves, you know, I really wish I can get on track and, and follow my dreams and, and do what it is that I've been called to do uh, like Carolyn is doing, 
What words of an inspiration would you have to share with an individual such as that today? Well, one one thing is we as Christians, and I'm going to talk in a, in, as it was is a Christian that's listening, um, that's been looking and saying, well, I thought I was supposed to do this. I thought I was supposed to do that. There, I didn't know that I was going to be a writer until I looked back at something I wrote down in 1999, and this was doing children's books, you know, titles for different books. And I forgot all about that. So it's never too late. Um, I'm getting ready to turn 59 on Friday. And I started last year at 58, and I already have two books um, before I even turned 59. So one year later, not even a full year, I have two books. So move in that direction, pray about it, and then move. What we do is we pray, we get the answer, and we don't move. Right. Uh, don't worry about what other people may think. Don't worry about what everybody, just worry about what God thinks. And That's God right. says you were created for such a time as now and that you're a child of the Most High God and he's put everything there for you. So move. He wants to give you everything, but he's saying you're not moving. <laughs> it's ready. Yeah, I was just telling a friend of mine, you, he wants you to be on the road. And a lot of times we think, um, this doesn't add up to that road. I didn't think all the things I was learning beforehand was going to add up to me being a author right now. But you have to see where you want to go. A lot of times we don't see ourselves as good enough or, or able to do that. Just move. Don't, don't, don't get caught up on it. Cause you, a lot of people have pu uh, written books, but never published them. Right. Don't don't hesitate. When you write it, I was like, I wrote it and I sent it in. They said, OK. And then, you know, we're self-published. So you send it in and I got the illustrator and I went there. But I learned a lot of things from my first book, what not to do. So when I moved into my second book, it was a lot easier. So it's a learning process. That's just right. just move. That's right. Well, you know, I'm I'm going to piggyback off of what you said and I'm going to uh, share uh, a few things with our viewers and listeners. Number one, your destiny was determined before your delivery. So you have to understand that some of the things you go through are meant for you to go through to make you a stronger, better, and more of a strengthened servant of Christ. And, you know, don't wait. Like uh, Carolyn said, don't wait on somebody to hover over you, put their hands on you, and 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 uh, basically officially make you who you already are. If God called you to do it, and a lot of times, Carolyn, people ask me this question, how do you know? How do you know? How do I know that God called me? Well, you simply don't just accept being called. You begin to be the call. That means you step out on faith and do what it is that he has called you to do. And if he called you to do it, it doesn't matter what anyone else says. It doesn't matter how much they hate on you, talk about you, smi smile in your face just to drag you down, you know, that kind of thing. You know, if you step up and step out on faith, he will order and direct your past. Uh, I, I tell you, it, <laughs> I, Paul said in the Bible, Carolyn, I became all things to all men that I may win some, some. So if you're winning some, you're doing what you're supposed to do. And that goes in every area and aspect of your life. Now, if one of those individuals also were to tap Carolyn Bryan on the shoulder and say, you know, I appreciate what you're doing as being a children's author, I, I kind of know where you've been. I, I know where you are, but you've already mentioned it uh, uh, vaguely already. But if they were to say, Carolyn, what's next for author Carolyn Bryant? What would your response be to that? Actually, um, like I said, I have an, another book in the works uh, and another book after that. 
already got it titled, which is called Christmas in the Kingdom. And um, I'm doing some things on the side on uh, with that to move in that direction. What I really got blessed on is I heard one of your um, authors talk about they were in the process of doing a movie. And that's what I want to do with the Christmas in the, in the wow. Kingdom. Um, and I don't even have the book wrote. <laughs> wow. You know, I, and that's amazing because when you have those things implanted in your mind, when you have thought about them and you know that you want to move in that direction, it's already done. It, right. it, it's already, because see, it already has began simply because you've thought about it and began to move on it. Meaning, and, and, and I got a feeling it's going to be one of those never die Christian movie type. Well, it's going to be a kid's movie, of course. And, it's going to be something that we can watch year after year after year after year after year, you know. So it's going to be something that is a, I guess you can say, a milestone. It's going to be something that you're going to leave a legacy. Let's put it that way. Uh, right. And, of course, uh, we know that a lot of people are going to want to show, uh, if nothing else, their love, care, concern, and support for you if someone wanted to do that right now, what would be, what would the process be? Where can your publications be uh, uh, purchased? Well, how, how do they go about it? What's the process for that? Well, they can purchase the um, on Amazon.com. Um, the No Shoes is also currently on Walmart. Um, I haven't got the other one, the Love a Walk with My Sister on Walmart yet, but both of them is on Amazon. I am also have a Facebook page, um, Carolyn Bryan at um, as the author on uh, author page on um, Facebook, um, uh, contact me there. It'll be easier. So, all right. Well, and of course, we will never let people forget about little old GMAP Broadcast Network down here uh, in the lower left hand corner of everything. And of course, we're in small print, but we don't mind being respected and noticed as being in small print because most of the time the small print is the most important print on the paper. And so we, we, we want to, we want to keep that title. We, we don't want to get any larger, but you can always, like I said before, stop by GMAP broadcast network and click on the tab that simply says children's featured authors. Uh, you will see both book covers that I am currently showing you on our television screen uh, click on one or the other. It will take you to the necessary location to find out more intimate information about the author as well as the publications. Now, when and uh, when you do, I'm not going to say if, when you do and you go to Amazon, I need you to do me as well as Carolyn a, a, a huge favor. Please leave a review. Please yes. leave a review. Carolyn, say it with me. Please, please leave, leave a, a review. review. <laughs> you know, it's so important that you leave a review. It only takes a few minutes uh, and it, it, it lets people know that you, number one, you appreciate what the individual is doing and you encourage them to keep moving forward. Carolyn will appreciate it. Amazon will appreciate it. I too will appreciate it. If you just take a few moments to leave a review. Um, yes. Carolyn, we are just... Uh, overwhelmed with joy that you have made a decision uh, to allow us to be a part of your journey. You have made a decision to be a part of the GMAP Broadcast Network family. And of course, we thank you for being here today, uh, taking advantage of an opportunity to just share who you are and what you're doing, because I know it's only going to boost and elevate and allow you to live that life more abundantly because you're blessed. What I want to do right now is I want to I want to move over before I let you go and and bless the people with your book trailers. I want to give you an opportunity to just share with our viewers around the world what's on your heart. Share with them what's on your heart. So I want to move over and give you an opportunity to do that. So Carolyn Bryant, the floor is yours. Well, my heart is that um, everyone knows the kingdom of God. Um, that we can have everything that Jesus died on the cross for. Uh, we should live in that presence of the love, peace, joy. They understand that. 
but it also has health and prosperity. There, there's so much in the kingdom and understanding his word clearly that his desire for each and every one of us from the day we were born and we accepted him as a Lord and Savior, he wanted us to be the beacon of light here on earth. And a lot of times we, we don't feel like moving into entrepreneurship or into being an author or having a business as a part of that. But that's, that's the light that he put in us. Some, some people are, are a beacon of light just as a housewife or a mother. That's that beacon of light. But he's also made it where we can go out in the business world and be successful. We just make sure that we maintain our integrity out there, our character, and um, the word of God in our life. Don't, don't forsake the word of God and don't forsake trusting and believing in him and, and moving in the direction he's called you to be at. Wow. Well, you know, I want to just uh, piggyback off of that as well and say we have to all step up and, and step out on faith. And we can hear that we, we can hear that biblical definition of uh, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, you know, and faith is very important because when Jesus had to take that long walk down that road of Golgotha, were you there? No. When Jesus was being talked about, spit on and had to listen to thousands of people holler, crucify him. Were you there when when Jesus died on the cross for our sins? Were you there? The substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So we all, all have to embrace faith because it is truly the evidence of things not seen. But it is the evidence of things not seen. And I truly believe that. So if you need a better definition or a better understanding of it, Simply take the first letter in each word for all I trust him. If you embrace that, you will live your life and you will live it more abundantly. Trust me, Carolyn, we are definitely going to be inviting you back. We uh, we just feel the need to to continue to allow people to understand who you are and what you're doing and to continue to be blessed by what the things God has incorporated in your heart to do. We want you to know that you have our number. We want you to pick the phone up and call, text, chat, tweet, whatever you do. Uh, Let us hear from you. And we want you to know when you do, the answer will always be yes. And you will never, ever, ever have to ask us twice. We appreciate you. We love you. And we want to do anything that we can to assist you during your journey. We thank you so much for being here today. And of course, if anyone may have missed this uh, and you wanna see the uh, rebroadcast of this conversation, uh, it is gonna be placed up on our YouTube channel. Uh, It's gonna be shifted over to Facebook. We're gonna air it on our weekly uh, Comcast, the cable uh, program. We're gonna do everything we can to help present this to people as often as we can. So remember, show your love, care, concern, and support. Leave a review and continue to embrace the future. Carolyn, we thank you so much for being here. We'll give you a call and touch base with you and let you know shortly what we uh, we plan to do from here. But until then, we want you to do what God has blessed you to do, and that's be a blessing and be blessed as well, okay? Thank you. Thank you. See, I told you she was a one word. Oh, <laughs> ain't no, ain't nothing else. Just thank you. God bless you, Kelly. And we want you to continue to have a fabulous rest of your day. We'll be in touch and you have a wonderful one. Okay. All right. You too.